card number 14 revised edition original edition let's take a look at the artwork and then we'll look at the text to see if there's anything different between them misguided pilot who is this misguided pilot look at those eyebrows wow this stream we're going to be posting on someone asking a question where we going to post this on the live chat which this stream we're going to post on bitchute rumble odyssey as well as the full stream on sensor too let's take a look at this it looks like the paragraphs were broken in different places maybe just want to make sure it's just a paragraph so the last word is disappeared later disappears so that seems to be the same uh da -da -da. Oswald and Ferry, that's the last paragraph. They start with the same words. Uh, activity was in effect. Activity was in effect, the second last paragraph. Mm, let's see where this was broken. So this one breaks at eyebrows and toupee. You got eyebrows and toupee right there. And he worked closely with Bannister work closely with Guy Bannister it looks like the revised version is a little different time leading CIA raid you know what we're gonna do for this one we're gonna read the revised version okay so this is card number 14 because they worded a little different, so they must have corrected something, right? Misguided pilot, and his name is David Ferry, card number 14. The stra uh, strangest denizen of five, 544 Camp Street was former Eastern Airlines pilot David Ferry, who, as a contract employee of the CIA, flew dozens of clandestine missions to Cuba around the time of, of the 1961 Bay of Pigs invasion. A bishop, a bishop in an obscure sect called the Orthodox Old Catholic Church of North America, and a master hypnotist fairy suf suffered from a rare condition of hair hairlessness called alopecia for which he compensated with grotesquely false eyebrows and toupee fairy worked closely with guy bannister's anti-castro operations one time leading a cia stage raid they had the key on a bunker containing explosives allegedly given to Schlumberger corporate Schlumberger Schlumberger Corporation by the CIA from the ultra right French secret army organization OAS to use in the 1962 coup attempted against French President Charles de Gaulle. The raid allegedly enabled the CIA to supply Cuban exile terrorists while President Kennedy's ban on such activities was in effect. That Oswald and Ferry knew each other is certain. When Lee was 16, he joined the local Civil Air Patrol unit led by Captain Ferry, who was discharged from Eastern because of 
uh, his homosexual liaisons with teenage boys. In September 1963, they were seen together at a federally supported black voter registration drive in Clinton, Louisiana. The evening of Kennedy's death, Ferry drove through a thunderstorm to Houston, where he spent hours at a skating rink making and receiving phone calls. According to a friend, he was to have picked up two members of a hit team who never showed up. The FBI questioned Ferry a few days later, but the interview was first classified by J. Edgar Hoover and later disappeared. Wow, wow, wow. I wonder this, if this interview was released in uh, 2022, uh, a few months ago, with the information. And one of the things I found interesting, Schlumberger Corporation, because of my geophysics work, I've uh, used a lot of their equipment, and I know Schlumberger uh, quite well. In the 1990s, uh, Schlumberger is involved in exploration, uh, both oil, mining, and whatnot. So they provide a lot of geotechnical uh, instruments. So interesting that uh, they were involved in this whole Shiba uh, thing as well. Look at those eyebrows. Wow, wow, wow. Misguided pilot. Misguided pilots.